Expect to see more people wearing masks around town. Austin Travis County leaders want everyone covering their noses and mouths in public. Since we need to save the N95s and surgical masks for the professionals, KXAN's Tahir Rahman found people who are making their own masks from household items. Normally, local company Grace and Lace would be packing women's clothing, but now they're shipping out thousands of these face masks. We moved from, um, you know, the main part of our business, really, of making women's apparel to now putting all of our efforts into getting masks here and getting them out as quickly as we can. Founder Melissa Hinnant says a few weeks ago she realized her clothing manufacturer could also send masks, so she posed a question to social media. Is this a real thing? Are there doctors really in need this desperate for masks? And within hours, we were bombarded with over 500 emails. She sent nearly 20,000 masks to first responders and healthcare workers across the country. 25 over here. Gura Tukur started using I her hobby as a quilter to make masks for a family member. And it was very personal to me because my sister-in-law works uh, at UT Health Clinic. She's now made dozens for other professionals and has been asked to make 200 more for the whole department. And with new CDC recommendations, those requests are increasing. You know, with the CDC recommending that everybody should wear one, everyone's contacting me saying that they're willing to pay for it. Hinnon says she's also got thousands of cloth masks soon to be available to the general public. Whatever you can, what resources you have is what is really going to make a difference with us getting through this as a nation. To Tara Rahman, KXAN News. Officials warned that wearing a mask does not make you immune to the virus. It's just an extra precaution. You should still keep your distance and follow stay-at-home orders.